Dutch company uses drones as wind turbines. Now here's something you don't see every day. Traditional wind turbines gather most wind energy at the tip of their blades. Dutch firm Ampex Power instead uses a drone tethered to an offshore platform to gather wind energy at higher altitudes. According to Re News, the concept airborne wind energy system is deployed on floating platforms. From there, the drone would fly to an altitude of 500 meters, where it creates electricity from high-altitude winds. The system can operate at depths of between 60 and 300 meters and is kept in place by six mooring cables attached to the ocean floor. A power cable runs from the platform to land. The company says the Energy Center for Research of the Netherlands calculated a virtual AWE wind farm operating near the east coast of Scotland to cost 137 euros per megawatt hour. Ampex Power says this is cost competitive against other floating applications. Last year, wind energy generated 11.6% of Europe's electricity. The EU is aiming to have renewables power a quarter of the bloc's energy consumption by 2030. Going green. Saudi Arabia plans to build a $500 billion megacity. Looking for a new vacation destination? How about Saudi Arabia? No, seriously. The Saudi Arabian government says it plans to build a $500 billion megacity that stretches into Jordan and Egypt and is completely powered by renewable energy. The project is called NEOM and will measure 10,230 square miles, which is 33 times larger than New York City. One of the main goals of NEOM will be to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy in an attempt to move it beyond oil. The megacity will focus on industries such as energy and water, biotechnology, food, advanced manufacturing, and entertainment. The $500 billion will come from the Saudi government, its sovereign wealth fund, and local and international investors. Floating Atlantic Wind Farm could meet the world's energy needs. Would you believe it if we told you the entire world could be powered by a wind farm in the Atlantic? We're not blowing hot air here. According to a new study, building a deep-sea wind farm the size of India that stretches across the North Atlantic could meet the whole world's power needs. Land-based wind farms can produce around 1.5 watts per square meter, while a wind farm in the Atlantic would be able to generate 6 watts per square meter. Several engineering challenges would have to be overcome. A deep-sea wind farm would have to operate in remote and harsh conditions, where waves frequently exceed 3 meters. Laying transmission cables that stretch across the ocean floor, then connect to floating turbines in open ocean, would be another obstacle. A project that big would also require international cooperation and a whole lot of money. Good thing we all get along so well. A power plant that takes away carbon emissions. Say hello to the world's first negative emissions power plant. The geothermal plant in Iceland, in cooperation with Climeworks, will remove an estimated 50 metric tons of carbon dioxide from the air each year. The process works by pulling carbon dioxide from the ambient air using a special filter. The heat from the power plant warms up the filter, which extracts pure carbon dioxide. The gas is then combined with water and pumped 700 meters underground. When the carbon dioxide reaches basaltic rock, it forms minerals. The project is still in the pilot phase, but researchers at Climeworks believe negative emissions plants could be set up around the world. One major obstacle in place is the price. Climeworks estimates it runs around $600 to extract one ton of carbon dioxide from the air. However, if economies of scale can be utilized and more plants open up, that price would drop significantly.